Hello, I'm Ross Handler, and one of the tricky questions that us uh, young Jews have sometimes when we get out on our own is how on earth do you conduct a Passover Seder? Well, it's really quite easy. A couple rules, as you will see next to us in the article, but I want to bring your attention that you might want to consider having yourself a Seder plate. This one comes from Israel. It's a very traditional Seder plate. It has a little area for each one of the traditional foods that we have during our Passover Seder. But keep in mind, you don't have to be fancy. If you don't want to have a fancy Seder plate, just have the foods on board. They're listed in the article next to us. And another thing that's really going to help you out in your endeavor is the Passover Seder book. Yes, my friends, the easiest way to have a Seder, get one for each and every one of the family members. What I like to do during my Seders is I like to just put one on each one of the plates or on the, on the chairs for those who are going to be a part of my Seder. And it's very simple. From there, you literally just follow the instructions in the book. It's got it in Hebrew and in English, and it'll really be a helpful guide. These are available online anywhere or at certain retail stores, depending on what part of the country you're in. I wouldn't expect to see them in Nebraska, but they're certainly all over New Jersey, Connecticut, and New York. Now, keep in mind that when you do perform your Seder, try to get as exact as possible in regard to the instructions in the book, in regard to the which you eat, and so on and so forth. But remember, you can also tailor it to your family's needs. It's a very traditional time, a great time to get together with the family. The most important thing is that we tell the story of the Jews' exodus from Egypt over 3,000 years ago. Otherwise, you have yourself a wonderful Passover. I'm Russ Handler, and I look forward to seeing you in Temple.